Thanks for calling, Iris. How can I help you? I got a message saying I was going to be picked up by the local cops, and I don't know why. The call is number. I don't know why. You got a call, or like you got an automatic voice message? Yeah. Yeah. Said the cops were going to pick me up. Uh, I don't need that. Huh? I, I don't know why. Hello, is anybody there? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, do you know why they called? I don't know why they called. Do you? It's about it's about your taxes, sir. Okay, what's the matter with them? There is a mathematical error, like uh, in your foreign taxes. There oh. is a miscalculation. Uh oh. I don't know how that happened. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So I need to pull up your record and get the got the information about why you got a call okay so can you go can you confirm me with your first name please first name's edmund e-d-m-u-n-d -E -D. last name fitzgerald f-i-t-z-g-e-r-a-l-d can you can you confirm me with your current medic zip code number sir Three eight one one zero. All right, can you hold the line for a moment, please? Sure. All right, still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, sir, thanks for holding the line. Okay. All right, so as I can see here that the reason why the IRS is trying to reach you is just to let you inform that there is a lot of legal law. I lost you. I keep on losing you. You're in and out. Can you hear me? Okay, now I can. Yes, as I can see here, that the reason why you got a call from the IRS is just to let you inform that. There is a legal lawsuit is going to be filed by the IRS against your name. Because I can see here that there is a red flag on your file which indicate that. There is an error under your tax filing. That what? means we have done a statutory audit under your tax filing for the period of 2010 to 60. Okay. And when we found out something very unusual under your tax filing, so we have received a legal allegation against your name for tax fraud. Tax and your fraud. name is uh, under the federal investigation. Well, I don't know how you can say it's tax fraud if I made a mistake. I don't know. I'm going to let you know all about that. Okay. But first of all, before I start with the case and telling you all about that situation, you need to grab a pen and a paper and make a note of my information, like my name, IRS employee number, and your case number, please. Okay, go ahead. Make a note of my name. You're talking with this is Roger Moore. Roger Moore, huh? Extension 101. Uh, I thought it would be 007. Extension 101. Okay. And you can also write it down my IRS employee number. I, S in Indiana. R like Romeo. Okay. Nine zero seven seven five. Okay. And for the last, you can also make an order of your case number, starting with the letter C as in Charlie. Okay. C as in Charlie. K as in Kilo. One one zero one nine. One one zero one nine. Uh-huh. Okay. Just to make sure that you've got the right information. Can you repeat it back to me, uh, my, my IRS employee number, please? IR90775. All right. So now, sir, I, you don't need to make a note of anything else. I just want you, please, to listen to me now, all right? Okay. Okay. So as per the Information Act of 1928, 1928. You have the right. 
You're going back, as kind of. per the Information Act of 1928, SCT Act. That's a long time ago. Look, you don't know what I mean. No, I don't. Okay. As the rules we have by the IRS. Okay. In the year of 1928, we already, we already have the rules. We made it. The government made it, all right, in 1928. Okay. About the situation. But before I go any further, I just want to make you aware of two things. Number one, the conversation between you and your father legal procedure. So I just want you to pl please do not like uh, talk about nonsense or like you you need to speak on as in this recorded line. Talk about nonsense. Because this phone nonsense. What the hell are you? This, what the hell are you talking about? Can you about? stop and can you can you can you can you listen to me, please? Yeah, but you said nonsense. I don't know what I'd be talking nonsense for. I want you to speak on as in this recorded line because this phone recording will be serving it back in front of the Burr Council the, to prove you innocent or guilty. Who's the Burr Council? You asked too many questions, you fuck. Hey, scammer. Scammer, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, I called three times and I got disconnected. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Oliver. Oliver? O L I V E R. Oliver, okay. Yeah, last What's your name? last name? C L O S S O V. C L O S S O V. S S S S O, okay. Close door. Close door. Huh? I'll never close and how? How? Huh? Okay. And how? How can I help you? I I don't know. I got to call to call this number. I got a voicemail to call this number about legal allegations, and I'm calling okay, back. Okay. And you are calling. And I tried three times and to call, and I can't. What? Okay. And you are calling from the same number which you have received a voice call. Yeah. Okay. Let me check. Okay. And how many times? You told me uh, three times. Three times. Three times, yes. Okay. Let me check. I think you received a call on the different number, am I right? Could have been on my house phone. I, I don't know. I just got a voicemail. This is my okay. cell. So I'm can using. you provide me that? Okay. So you got a uh, call on the, your house number? Can you provide me that number? Yeah, 646, same area code. It's for... six four. Six. Three, five, eight, 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 four, four. Eight, eight, four, four. Right. No. Well, I got three calls. Okay, if you don't want me, you don't want me. I'm, I guess I'm all right. You must have called the wrong number. Let me check. I just want to make sure there's nothing on my name. I mean, if you called the wrong number, fine. I don't care. See, the reason is we have done a random audit on the tax filing year of 2011 to 2016. Okay. That's the reason, but uh, still I'm not confirmed that I'm talking to the right person because you are not providing me that numbers. So you're providing me the different, different numbers. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Then I guess you're not looking for me, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure you're not looking for me. That's all. If I'm all set, I'm all set. No, see, I'm not the right person because you got a call from the UCS department, this automatic collection service department, and now you're calling me that. This is the number they told me to call. So, right now, right now, the case has been excluded. So, are you aware about the situation? Huh? What? The right now, your case has been excluded. Means of within 30 to 45 minutes, the cops will be reaching at your doorstep to mark lean on your Wait, seat. A minute ago, you told me it wasn't class. me, and now the cops are coming. What? 
Yeah, then let's see the cops will be reaching at your doorstep to mark lean on your seat and put you in the behind the bar for the next 365 days. So, you want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. Then? Then what? What do you want me to do? So, just provide me the real information. Don't give me the full information. I gave the you right the information. Now, this call, see. The right now, this call has been recorded and monitored by the IRS Fine. and the local authorities. Fine. I mean, I I called you back like I was supposed to. If it's not me, it's not me. I don't know what you're talking about. So, who will be responsible person? Then why you got, got a voicemail on your number? I don't so you know. You have the outstanding balance. I the, Four serious allegation number. I thought the you were supposed to know. The four serious allegation number, which means that you have to pay the four thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollars today. You understood what I'm saying? Where'd you come up with that number? No, I don't understand what you're saying. First, you don't want me. Now you want forty-seven eighty-six. Hey. I'm kind of at a loss Oliver. here. Yes. Yes. So you have to pay this amount. It's forty-seven eighty-six. How do we even know that's me that you want it from? You, I, I don't know. Because the uh, because the arrest warrant has been issued for on who? UNA. Who's the warrant issued on for? UNA? Yes, it's Oliver Elso. Oliver Closer. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's who you want. Okay. Boy, oh boy, this is tough. This government is tough. So what have I got to do here? So. The reason is you huh? have to pay the outstanding balance. Okay. What do I do? Send a check? Tell me where to mail it. No. Don't I get to see where they say I owe it? Don't I get to see the audit or anything? I mean, okay. I just got to take your word what's for your it. What's your current zip code? Okay. What's your current zip code? 10004. 10004. Right. And you told me your first name is Oliver and the last name is Closer. Correct. Is the first name is O L I V E R. O L I V E R. The last name is O L I V E R. Right. Right. And the last name is C L O S S E V E. No, C L O S S O V. C L O S S E V. O V O O V. I don't think you got the right guy. To tell you the truth, Let me it doesn't check. sound like it. No, still I'm not able to find out the information. I think you're providing me the wrong information. So that's I'm the giving reason. you the right information. You haven't you haven't got the right information. I mean, I call and you don't know what I'm talking about. So I guess you're a scammer, right? Then. Why I'm not able to find out digital information regarding because, this? Because you're a scamming asshole, that's why. And you're not very good at it, let me tell you that much. Okay, then we're how, how do you to make any, minutes, the how, do you, how do you make any money at this? Will you tell me that? Then wait for... You're wait terrible for at this. You're, you you better be find a real job because you're terrible at this, pal. Yeah, okay, mark a lean on my mark, ass, will you? Hey. Scammer, mark like lean on my ass, you benchoed. Motherfucker. You're, You're a bad, bad scammer, I'll tell you that much. You better find a real job and because you, you ain't no good at this, buddy. Yes, this you is, better this go back to jerking job. off goats or something. This is my real job, benchoed. Benchoed, that's not a real job. You're a scammer. That's not a real job, yes, stealing benchoed. money from this people. Is, this is my real job. Because you Ben like Colody? You Ben yes. Colody mother? And, and and you are a product of the prostitute, Ben Colody. Oh, you think so? You think so, scumbag? Yes. Scumbag, scammer. Yes. You asshole. You are the product of the prostitute. You are the product of a goat and a fucking and cow. Sure. How do you like that, fuckface? I chose motherfucker. You, Ben Kalodi, Ben Kalodi. Ben Kalodi. Uh, you take that little Your London. Mother take that little London. Give it to the goat. <laughs> Go fuck the goat. <laughs>
Mother Jolt. Hey, are you done? I'm done fucking around with you because you're no good at this, so you're not even good at this. But you're going to be on YouTube anyway, just so you know. Yes, this is the way. Okay, you're going to be a star, Herman. Okay. Whatever the fuck your name is. Okay, and then wait for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, I'll be waiting for him, stupid. <laughs> Jesus, all right, goodbye. That's all, folks.